What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon White 2 Extreme Randomized Nuzlocke. In the previous episode, we dealt with some shenanigans involving Team Plasma and Opelousa City and them freezing the town. In today's video, we're going to make our way over to Humalau City, probably taking on the gym. I say probably, I don't know, um, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I mainly want to take on the gym, so that way if we do kind of get uh, fricked up, no, it's just fucked up. Um, we have a good, like, level to grind up to in terms of, um, if, like, we need to replace mods on our team and whatnot. So, it's kind of the plan. It's a risky plan because, um, I believe we might be facing level... Actually, hold on. Because I think Drayden's ace is normally 48, and he was 58 when we fought him. So, Marlin's highest mod is usually 51. So that's... Six, 61? I think we might be fighting level 61s? As an ace? Potentially, I don't know. If that's the case, though, that's still a good level to have uh, everybody grinded up to. Uh, let's do a quick team recap. We got our goaded ass mod, Reverie Armusharna here at level 58, holding that rocky helmet uh, so we can deal some chip damage to some fools. Uh, Volt Absorbability with Aerial Ace, Thigh Beam, Shadow Ball, Mud Bomb. We got Lance, our Dragonite here at level 61, Moxie Ability, Fire Type with Crab Hammer, Sacred Sword, Minimize, and uh, Sacred Fire. We got Megatron, our Metagross, our Electric and Fighting Metagross at level 58, holding the leftovers, Brave Bird, Bulldoze, Sacred Sword, and Thunder Punch. We got Remedies, our Reshiram at level 58, holding the Amulet Coin, Flash Fire ability, Ghost and Dark type with Frost Breath, Fly, Mud Bomb, and Hex. We got Raiden, our Gallade at level 58, Electric and Flying type with the Scope Lens, Overcoat, uh, with Jopec, Fold Switch, Sacred Sword, and Psycho Cut. We got Onslaught, our Ice Type Salamence at level 58, Battle Armor ability with Icicle Crash, Ice Shard, Bolt Strike, and Octazooka. And that is our team. So, my initial thought process was we can go to the right, battle a bunch of people before we face Marlin, and go from there. But, Seeing as I don't have Surf on Amon, and I really don't want to teach anybody Surf, because I think the only person who could learn Surf on this team would actually be Dragonite, but Dragonite is more of a physical attacker. So, I mean, Surf would be on there for coverage, but uh, instead of Crab Hammer. But I don't think I want to take that chance. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go through the little aquarium thing to get the Humalau City. Uh, the Marine Tube, that's what it's called. We're just gonna go through there instead. Um, one, it's aesthetically pleasing uh, as well. And two, it'll get us here faster. And three, we can battle a bunch of these like extra trainers between like videos. So that's, that's kind of the way that I see this as a benefit. So we're just gonna go through this quicker like this. Um, it's not like I'm in a rush, really. It's just, I think it's, right now it's about playing the game smarter. So I think for me to get the gym and get the level 61 level cap, is just it's just the smarter idea in my in my un honest opinion so i think this is the second to last secondary mart that we can come across in the game maybe a relic band hmm interesting full restores wouldn't be bad an exp share as well i'm gonna keep it real i don't think we've had like we've had decent stuff in the marts but I don't think we've had like that great of stuff in our secondary marts. 
playing through this game, so... It's kind of, it's kind of the way I've, I've been seeing things, but... There's Marlin, so... What we're gonna do, actually, is I actually want to get a couple of encounters. Oh, I don't have... That's right, I don't have Surf. Well, that's fine, I can go up towards this route. Can I get past battling... Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, can I get past battling people? Ooh, can I make it to the dark grass? That's gonna be a challenge. Okay. Okay, there we go. Dark grass, and I know there is a hidden grotto here. I know there's a hidden grotto here, so I can get that encounter. Hmm. I am interested. Wait, isn't this thing like a dragon type? Isn't this thing like dragon and fire or something? Or is it a ghost type? Are you a ghost type, File Bloom? Ghost and dragon, potentially? I mean, I remember Roar of Timing. Or Roar of Time from File Bloom. Okay, calm down. Please don't do that again. I would prefer you not. I probably just killed it, actually. Yeah. Oh, well. It would have been a good mon, yes, but... I don't know, I'm thinking, like... If it was Ghost and Dragon, I have so many ghost types. Like, I really... I keep running into the issue of, like, not having too many of those, uh, like... Just having too many of the same typings. It's kind of why I'm hoping, like of one of the stone evos that I have just lying around in the box. I just realized that, didn't I? Is it gonna be smarter for me to... Is it gonna be smarter for me to get my team prepped before the victory road? Or or do I take kind of a page? Wait, did I even do that for black or? Uh, wait, I don't know if I did that for the white extreme randomizer. Do I go into the victory row with the team that I currently have, but have like a B squad on the off chance something bad happens to a majority of the A squad? But even then, is a level 61 level cap gonna... Is it gonna do me any favors if I'm... deep into, like, post-game stuff? Ooh, okay. Um... Interesting. I... Don't know how this is gonna go. I keep forgetting certain mons have imposter. Oh wow, that did a lot more than I anticipated. It did a lot more than I anticipated. I just half my health and they get the special defense drop. Must be nice. Um, I guess I'll go in the Salamence for this. Yeah. I don't know. This is, it's risky. It's very, very risky to be doing this right now. However, I'm thinking long-term. I'm thinking if I actually like make it to the end of the game. Which, I mean, I wouldn't see why I wouldn't make it to the end of the game. Cause I mean like, pretty much there like we had a we had a pretty rough you know middle portion so far so maybe maybe we're in for a treat who knows 
Should have sacred sorted. Oh, never mind. Take back what I said. Take back what I said. Made the right call there. Alright, heal up Reverie. I'm gonna try my best to get everybody the 60 before the gym fight. That's probably more than likely not gonna happen just because I see us having to switch out quite a bit when it comes to certain Pokemon and whatnot. But if I can get an, like most of the team up to 60 before we fight Marlin, that would be that would be great. Archaeops is really fucking scary in these because he doesn't have defeatist, so. He's actually really fucking good. But I think we'll be fine. Because he's knocked out this turn. Alrighty. Oh, I should probably kill up Salamence just on the off chance. On the off chance, we need him at full health. It's funny because, like, if you look at my team from, like, a, like, from a normal playthrough perspective, if you take what my team's typings would be, You'd be thinking I would be only allowed to use Psychic and Dragon types. You would, that's the thats the ruling you think I'd have, is that I'm only allowed to use those typings. You know, it's not true, obviously, because it's an extreme randomizer. Everybody's different. Titar here is different. Like so, he just, he copied me again. I'm afraid that I don't outspeed, and I don't want to take that chance and lose my Musharna. I know I have a second one in the back, but there's no reason for me to throw one away. And also, I don't think I don't think an Ice Shard would kill from here, so I'm gonna Ice Cool Crash instead. Oh! I think that's the first time I'm going for Ice School Crash, by the way, and it uh, just just misses. Cool, cool. I'm glad to know that I could have lost my Salamence in the dumbest way imaginable due to RNG again. I swear to God, man. I put myself... I don't even put myself in these risky situations. I mean, like... It's me going in the gym, the level I'm at, risky, yes. But you could also look at... When I went in against Drayden, it was more risky because I was much lower leveled going up against him than I am now. But besides the point... I'm already putting myself as a bit of a handicap for not knowing what I'm fighting, essentially. So, you don't need to stack the deck even further 
by having my chances of missing increase. Are you a ghost type? Please, I mean, you're not a ghost type. Are you a dark type? Please don't be a dark type. Please be a steel type. It looks like it's steel type. Good. Catch that iron, or catch that iron tail. Catch that mud bomb. A cargo. Let's go back in the Salamis for this. Um, let's see. An icicle crash for stab. Oh, super effective. Look at that. Look at that. Alright, I'm gonna swap remedies out to the front here. I think it's just a smarter idea. I always found this gym to be like relatively easy to figure out. But like when I watch some other people play this, like and see them get stuck, it maybe it's just because maybe it's because I did it as a kid. So it like was one of those things that you do as a kid and it kind of like sticks in your memory bank. Whereas, like, stuff nowadays will confuse me a little bit more. But... I just always found it oddly fascinating. How certain people would kind of get stuck during this gym puzzle. When it's... I don't think it's that difficult. Plusle. Okay. Oh! That could be dangerous. Could be dangerous. I mean, he did out, or er, she did out speed me. Just don't. I should heal, shouldn't I? I should heal just on the off chance that it does hit me with something massive. It detected again. Okay, that's actually good for me. keeps detecting. Why? Wait, does it not have a move to hit me with? I must have not had a move to hit me with because it tail glowed and detected. That's the only thing that thing did. What? <coughs> Hey man, I'm not gonna complain. That thing was plus six. That thing could have had me dead. Had me dead. Right, Cop Noel Arcanine. Ooh, I don't know if we fought one of these yet. I feel like we, I feel like we have actually. I always think with like remedies, like it doesn't hurt to go for frost breath because if it's super effective, then we're going to do a lot of damage, but also like if it's not super effective, it's still a critical hit move. I mean, it's base 90, I think, because of the crit. Shedinja, 
You were water type, right? I believe you were a water type. Mm hmm. Let's go. Cool. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if Shedinja actually got randomized to Ghost Dark in these games? Like, he would liter we would literally not be able to beat that thing. Actually, no, we would. We would just have to hope that he would hit us with like a physical move with like our Musharna or something, because Rocky Helmet would go into would go into effect, or we'd have to have like a status infliction move on it, like spikes, rocks, hail, sandstorm. One of those things we'd have to have on it. All right, so now this just leaves us and the gym leader. It's gonna be a very, very interesting gym fight. I have no idea if we're gonna be safe or not doing this, but we're already here, so we're committed. We are committed to the bit. Jessica, what? Grumpeg, okay. Um That could be a little bit scary. Um I think we just go for frost breath. I don't know if there's really much There's, there's nothing wrong with a strategy like that. Ooh, Toxic Spikes. We don't have a Poison type, actually. So that is actually a good... Good play by him. Electrode. Um... Is he really sending out his ace already? Ooh, wow, that almost killed. Please heal up enough to where he doesn't heal, actually. I think he will. Let's go. Okay. Um. I'm still gonna frost breath again. There's no reason for me not to. Bruh, really? This is why I can't take this game seriously. That man was dead as hell, and I think Frost Breath has like a 10% chance of missing, which I understand why they gave it a 10% chance of missing, because it's a good move, because it always crits. However, did it really have to miss there? Or could it have missed like when it didn't matter? Oh, a dark voiding Hypno, okay, um... Does this mean he's gonna be a 
fighting. Not a fight type. Is he gonna be a dark type? If he's a dark type, honestly, I'm just gonna go into Metagross. I'm gonna Sacred Sword his ass. If he's Dark Rock, he, he's gonna die to one, one Sacred Sword. Conversion 2? Uh, lol? He's neither. Hmm, okay. Maybe we can try, maybe we can try Thunder Punch. What is he converting to? Flying type? Oh, you shouldn't have. Get predicted. That man got predicted. That's tough. Jolteon. I'm gonna go into remedies because he won't get poisoned. And I can see what this thing goes for. Ooh, I don't like that. I do not like what just unfolded in front of me. Um, I'm gonna hex. Yeah, so this could be bad. Makes me wonder if it doesn't have anything to hit me with. I mean, we two shot it with Hex, so... We just gotta hit him again. Ice Beam? Okay. Don't be a low roll, I swear to god. Here we go. Yan Mega. Um, I suppose stay in. Why not? My remedies have this entire gym fight. Why not? I'm gonna mud bum. Ooh, it rain danced. Interesting dilemma. It was super effective too. Nice. Oh, it's got color change too. Okay. Actually, if he heals here, that's fine, because I can hex him twice and he'll die. Because that's the nice thing about playing around with color change and randomizers, is that if you have a diverse moveset, you control. You control what basically happens to whatever you're fighting. And since that does over half as a neutral hit, he dies now because it'll be super effective. Ooh, Dragon Claw? Changed my mind, Yon Mega, if it got a Mega Evolution, should be Bug Dragon. I know Flygon should have kind of been that. Been that guy. But let's make Yon Mega that guy. Alright, Chandelure, I believe. Believe! I believe Chandelure is uh, a fighting type in this game. So we have Fly, which is good for us. Clear smog. Uh, we don't have any stats changes, buddy. Quick guard predicts the team. Yes. Oh, it might be might be flying in something else actually. If I mud bomb here. Super effective. There we go. All right, so. It actually was smart for us to go into this gym right now because we just completely tore the thing apart. Which is good. Which is good for us. Good for us. Final gym badge acquired. Let's get it. 
and our Scald TM randomized to Dizzy Punch. That's not terrible. I would prefer Scald. I honestly think them making Scald a move was one of the best things they could have done. Look at that man swim away. Hey man, I'll see you outside in like a minute. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here. If you guys did enjoy this episode, for what we underwent, make sure you hit that like button down below because it'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, next episode, we will be messing around with a bunch of Team Plasma stuff. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new episodes. And if you want to see, I don't necessarily want to call it exclusive content, even though I have in the past, but if you want to see content that you probably don't expect to see, follow my TikTok and Twitter, both of which are linked in the description below and uh, go check those out. Anyways, I'm gonna get out of here. Have yourselves a great day, and peace.